Genshin Impact is almost here, and today Mihoyo showed off three new characters as well as some more gameplay of Sucrose. I'm really excited to show you guys these characters, so without delay, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to subscribe for more Genshin Impact content every single week. This video was super unexpected, and to be honest, I'm actually just about to move, so recording and editing this on the floor is not super fun, but I do it for you guys, so let's get into it. Mahoyu released a few clips of different things and systems making their way into the game, like achievements, glider skins, as well as these new characters. We also got a new trailer featuring Lumine, so I might go in more depth about that next week, but for today, it's just the characters. The first character we get to see in the trailer is Mona. She's a Hydro user who comes from Monstat, and her quick description says that Though she is often strapped for cash and lives a life of thrift, she is resolved to never use astrology for profit. So her lore behind her seems to be very humble, and if we look at the gameplay clips of her, we see some awesome area of effect attacks, as well as some more basic attacks similar to the other magic users. So she seems like a lot of fun to use, and I can't wait to try her out and test her abilities when the game comes out. The next character we got to look at was some more of Sucrose. We finally got to see her elemental abilities and they both seem to be an area of effect attack while her ultimate attack is a prolonged version of her burst attack. This looks like it could be an incredible combo with fire and electricity so she's definitely going to be a character I'm excited to use and try out in the game to create some huge damage combos. The third character we got to take a look at was Chi Chi, who's from Liyue and her element is Cryo. She's a sword user similar to Kaya, but her burst attack looks to be a party wide buff that freezes enemies within range every 3 or 4 seconds, which could be really, really useful in some battles, especially if you have like a Hydro user and then uh, Chi Chi's uh, burst attack. I'm not really sure what her elemental attack does or her ultimate attack, sorry. But I look forward to trying it out and testing it to see what it really does in the game and if it's really any use in a party. Finally, we got a look at Kei Ching, who is an Electro Sword user, and if I'm not mistaken, that actually makes her the first Electro Sword user. And her lore says that she believes that humans should determine the future and she doubts the policies of like the Leo Wei government. Um, it sounds like she'll be one of the more interesting characters in terms of dialogue, and hopefully we get some missions pertaining to her similar to the Shunling missions from Closed Beta Test 3, where you had to help her find ingredients to make the best dish. Her attacks look to be super good, and she has an interesting teleportation mechanic to her elemental burst. While her basic attack combo also appears to have some form of teleportation, it just looks a little more limited. She looks like she could be a super useful character in a party, and I found in that closed beta test 3, my best characters were all Electro users, so having a sword user who is quick with some really special moves could be super useful. Of the three new characters shown, she has to be one of my favorites, and I really can't wait to have her in my party alongside with Sucrose. So yeah, today was just a really quick, impromptu video, but I hope you guys liked it and are excited for these new characters as much as I am. If you are, let me know down below which characters seemed the best or most interesting to you. And yeah, let's start a conversation about it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.